Hey everyone, my name is Mars, like the planet, and this is Housewarming. If this is your first time seeing my face, I make videos about houseplants, honest living, and home ownership. Today, I'm going to be doing an update about my mental health journey and me being on Lexapro. So a little bit of backstory, I have been struggling with my mental health, um, more specifically uh, anxiety, depression, suicidal ideation, self-harm, for the better part of my adult life, I have struggled for a very long time and I went through three therapists before I finally found a therapist that worked for me. Um, I had really bad social anxiety. I had a lot of delusions that people did not like me. Um, I had a lot going on um, about two or so years ago in my life and I was just really, really struggling and barely trying to keep my head above water. And my doctor uh, suggested that I start Lexi Pro. Now I've already made an entire video about being on Lexapro that I will link down below. So I have been struggling with my mental health since I was about in middle school. I self-harmed the first time when I was in the sixth grade and I spent one day in therapy and my mom thought that that was the solution to that and that of course did not help. And I continue to have problems at home. I continue to have problems throughout high school with my anxiety. I continue to have problems with self-harm and suicidal ideation. And while I never attempted suicide, that's why I would never say that I wanted to commit suicide. I just always thought it would be so much easier if I wasn't here. Um, I also felt very guilty talking about my mental health just because a lot of people don't know what to say. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to approach it, especially when you are being so very vulnerable with them. So it kind of all came to a head. I made it through high school. I made it through college. I graduated. I am now 27 and I, please ignore the noise. I have a puppy, <laughs> but I was really struggling after college because all of a sudden, all of the people that I was around, all of the friends that I was around were gone. I moved an hour away from the college I graduated from and that support system that I always had, having my friends around was gone. Now I will say that I classify myself as an introvert. I like staying in, but I was also someone that was in college. So I did like going to the club. I did like, you know, hanging out with my friends and things like that. But once I graduated in 2017, I really had my anxiety come full force. I was not working. I was now without a support system. I was in a relationship that was long distance and I was back living at home, which was a very hard thing for me to deal with. I did not know how to handle my anger. And in this relationship that I was in, which I'm still in, I wanted that person to fix me. I wanted that person to know what to say, how to handle my situation. And she didn't know what to say. And I felt guilty for bringing my problems to her, her not knowing how to fix them, and then feeling like I was a burden all of a sudden. So I decided after years of struggling, I really came to terms and I sat down and I was like, girl, you have social anxiety. It was really hard for me to function at work. I was that type of person that was always like, who's gonna be there? What's going on? Where is it happening? I almost didn't want people to perceive me. I didn't want people to see me living. I also would be very anxious in new situations. If my partner wanted to take me someplace, I was always like, oh my God, I need to look up the reviews. I need to look at it online. What am I supposed to wear? How is it gonna be? How's the food? How's this, how's that? And it just made it so hard to function. I could not function. But in that video, I did say that I was considering coming off of it and I was, considered stop I was considering stopping to use Lexapro, but I had to have a meeting with my doctor first just to see how that would work out because I just was not sure if Lexapro was something that I was going to need to be on forever or if it was something that I could stop. So I have had that conversation with my doctor as well as there were a lot of um, a few changes that I was seeing um, that I kind of wasn't happy with 
with, um, which ultimately um, made me decide to stop using Lexapro. So all in all, I probably use Lexapro from March of 2022 to May of 2023. So about a year or so, about, you know, a year and some change, I was on Lexapro. And I will say that Lexapro or Escitalopram, I was on the 20 milligrams and it truly changed my life. I am still the same person fundamentally, but the way that I move through the world, the way that I interact with other people, my thoughts, they are just so much more quieted by being on Lexapro. I cannot sing its praises enough. Lexapro is the only um, antidepressant or SSRI that I was on, so I really can't speak to any of the other drugs, but I did see a lot of, you know, really nice and touching comments in the previous video and i do want to say that if you were coming from that previous video looking for an update i want to thank you so much for just putting your story out there and sharing your story i do hope that you have found the healing that you need i do hope that maybe you've tried lexapro or tried to get on some other type of antidepressant and i do hope that it has worked for you but I will say that I decided to come off of Lexapro on my own. That was a decision that I made. So here are kind of some of the steps that I took to see if I was ready to come off of Lexapro. So firstly, I was taking the 20 milligrams of Lexapro or Escitalopram every single day. But um, I had some things going on in my life and I ended up missing a dose. So I ended up skipping a day. Now, there were some people that were saying you were gonna have all kind of withdrawals, that you were gonna feel weird. And I didn't feel weird. And I was like, okay, I see that I can at least be okay if I do happen to miss my medication. So slowly but surely, I started to feel better. I started to feel more like myself. I started to feel like I really had the coping mechanisms to get through my day-to-day -day life. And if there was an upset or a big life change, I was able to get through this. I will say that I started to notice that maybe I was okay coming off of Lexapro about a year after I started taking it. So maybe March, April or so of this year, I slowly myself without my doctor knowing slowly started to wean myself off of Lexapro. I will say that while I do sing Lexapro's praises, this is not a medication that I want to be on forever just because I don't want to be dependent upon a medication forever. But I was not sure if after a certain period of time, if my symptoms of anxiety, depression, all of that would come flooding back, I was not sure. So slowly but surely, I started to wean myself off. I would go a couple of days without taking it. I would go maybe a week uh, without taking it. And then in April of 2023, I went the better part of a month without taking Lexapro. And this was something that once again, I personally felt comfortable doing. I am not telling you to stop taking your medication. This was something that I felt good enough to stop doing. And I did have to monitor and make sure to see how I was feeling. Now there were times where I decided to take my um, medication because I did start to feel very irritable. Now I'm not saying that, um, you know, while on Lexapro I had no emotions and off of Lexapro all of a sudden I had all of these emotions. It almost felt like I had emotions that I could control. I was still happy, mad, sad, glad, excited, worried, anxious, annoyed, things like that that are normal emotions but they would come, I would be able to control them and then they would pass. Before taking Lexapro, I was not able to control, you know, those anxious emotions, those sad emotions, those depressive emotions at all. But on Lexapro, I was. So what I decided to do was when I, I was monitoring how I was feeling during a very tough situation in my life, and I did at one point start to feel very overwhelmed. I felt like I couldn't really handle the situation. I wasn't calming down. I was becoming irate. I was yelling, I was screaming, and I decided, okay, I really do need to take my medication. And I took it after going almost 30 days without taking it. So I met with my doctor in May of 2023, so about two months ago, and I did tell her that one of the symptoms that I was having was a lot of weight gain. Now I will say that I was told by my doctor that Lexapro does not cause weight gain, but over the past year or so, I have gained a significant amount of weight and I did not know where it was coming from, but I did do my own research and I did realize that Lexapro does cause weight gain and um, specific SSRIs do cause weight gain. Now, would I have maybe not gone on Lexapro if I knew it had caused weight gain? 
probably because I do have an issue with gaining a lot of weight that I'm just not able to control. That was something that I had to be okay with. But at this point in my life, I was okay with gaining the weight if it meant feeling better. But right now I did feel like I was kind of at that point where I felt better and I was kind of over gaining the weight and I kind of brought that to my doctor and I, and I was a little frustrated to be honest because my doctor was like, oh yeah, Lexapro can tend to cause weight gain. And I was like, okay, but a year ago you told me that it didn't. So what's the truth? Like I was a little annoyed with my doctor about that, but basically her solution was to either continue on Lexapro and she would give me an appetite suppressant or I could go on a different medication. And I did not wanna do any of those. That was my particular choice. And I do feel like, yes, the doctor may know what's best, but you're gonna know what's best for your own body. And I did not wanna be on an appetite suppressant. And I also didn't wanna start a brand new medication because I was feeling like I could control all of my symptoms. And also too, I had tons of medication still at home. I still have an entire bottle full of Lexapro that's there if I do need to take it. And I do feel like, say I do go a month without taking it. If I do take that dose, I do feel better. It's not like I have to wait, you know, um, you know, a few weeks for it to kick in or something like that. Like if I do take, you know, go a month without taking it, I take one Lexapro or one dose, I do tend to feel better after I take it. So it is something that I can have in my back pocket. If I am struggling, if I am having a hard day and I can't get through it and I do feel like I'm having those symptoms of anxiety and depression come back, Lexapro will still be there for me. I can still take it, but I will, I, I did end up telling my doctor, I was like, hey, I really don't want to be on an appetite suppressant. I really don't want to start a new, you know, drug, I, I think right now I'm going to try to stop taking Lexapro. And I did tell her that I would check back in if it was something that, you know, I did feel like I need to go back on Lexapro um, completely and take it maybe every single day, every other day, something like that, or I needed a lower dosage. I told her that I would monitor my symptoms and monitor what I needed and I would check back in with her. So she said that that was fine. Of course, she charged me $100 for that for me to make up my own mind. But I'm still glad that I did talk to my doctor about everything just to run it by her and to make sure that, you know, stopping my medication was not going to, you know, throw me into a tailspin. I will say that once I stopped taking Lexapro um, officially in May of 2023, I did not really feel any symptoms. I didn't feel any withdrawals. I feel fine. I feel like the same way that I felt when I was on Lexapro. And I, I really just want to make this just to show you that there is hope, there is light at the end of the tunnel. If you are thinking about starting medication, if you are in the middle of it, if you are in the thick of it, I will say, you know, as someone who was adamantly against taking medication, someone who has taken it for the past year, who has seen my life change. Obviously, I'm not perfect. I still have room to grow. I still have things to work on. You know, I just want to show you that you can do it and that it's okay and that you will be okay. And that if you do find a medication that works for you, I love that. But if there is a medication out, you, out there for you that maybe isn't working, that you should advocate for yourself and say, you know, hey, this is not working for me. Maybe we need to up my dosage. Maybe I need to be on something completely different. I Maybe I don't like the symptoms. Maybe I don't like the weight gain or things like that. You should be able to advocate for yourself and speak up for yourself. So now that I have been off of Lexapro officially for about two or so months now, I feel fine. I feel the same. I've had a huge life change happen in my life and I was able to handle it. Yes, I still felt the emotions of being, you know, upset or sad or, you know, I still cry. I still have normal emotions, but I was able to manage them. And that's the thing. Lexapro helps me manage my symptoms. They help me manage my emotions and not just be sent into a tailspin. And I still feel like I'm able to do that. And I do like the security of knowing that if I do have a really bad day, I, I still have medication in the cabinet. I can still go back and take it. I'm not a failure. If I do decide to take, you know, Lexapro again, if I do decide to get back on it, if I do feel like my symptoms are becoming unmanageable, if I feel like, you know, the anxiety is coming back, there's nothing wrong with going back on your medication. But right now I did feel like it was a good time to stop. Um, so basically, yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys and give you guys an update about me being on medication. So I will officially say that I am off of Lexapro after a year or so of taking it. And I highly recommend it to anyone that is considering taking it. Um, if you did not see my other video, I did make an other, an, a different video about um, having an eating disorder. I do have a binge eating disorder. I will make a completely separate video about that if you guys are interested. But I will just say that I am feeling a lot better. I, I will say that I 
I feel like I'm coming up over the hill. I feel like I'm coming over the hill. I feel like I'm really getting out of that dark period that I was in for so long. I was anxious. I was scared. I was worried. I was self-harming. I had suicidal ideation. I had an eating disorder. And I will say that I am just truly coming out of it. And I do think that um, Lexapro didn't cure or help my eating disorder, but I do feel like not having that anxiety, I do feel like not having that depression really kind of cleared my mind to be able to handle my eating disorder head on and really be able to fix things for myself and turn my life around. So like I say in all of my videos about mental health, I do welcome sharing your experiences down in the comments down below. Um, I will always be open to reading them and responding to your questions that you may have about medication, about um, Lexapro in general, or anything to to do with anxiety or depression once again I am not perfect I am not saying that I am completely healed and I will never be anxious ever again but right now I am truly happy that I am in a good place that I feel good and I just want to be you know an example to show you that it, that it is possible that it is worth it thank you so much for watching this video I post new videos every single Wednesday if you are interested in me making more videos about my mental health journey or Lexapro or anything like that just leave them down below and I would be happy to make that video for you or just answer your questions. I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!